the idea for this game has been around for a while in the mind of Chris Miller, the uh, producer of Fat Princess, and a lot of the key members from that title are now at Fun Bits Interactive. But once we kind of saw what the hardware was capable of on the Vita, it kind of went to a bing. He had it all laid out. It was like, we can do a control scheme like this, we can do this, we can do that, and it just it, it made such perfect sense. A lot of the questions that we get, people are like, why are you just doing it in black and white? Aren't you afraid that it's going to be lost on a little screen? I'm like, little screen? Have you, have you actually held one of these? And when people hold this hardware in their hands, they're like, oh my god, that screen is gorgeous. So going with a black and white and almost a, a noir style to this, there's so many grayscales to it. And the black and white, it's just so crisp. And it's got this kind of old, nostalgic kind of a feel, yet kind of a contemporary playset and it's 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 the best of kind of all of these neat genres just kind of wrapped into one. Little is this tiny, skinny, very fragile character that is just, you know, like rah, 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 rah. you touch him and interact and he's like bah. Large is just he's happy to be there. And, blah, 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 blah. and you touch him and he's like woo -hoo, woo -hoo, a little more ticklish. Large can roll through barricades, use his weight to smash through objects. Little is so fragile, he trips on a brick and just splat. With the, the front and the back screen, we can do kind of what we're calling a, a squeeze. Uh, Little walks up to the fizzy drink dispenser and he's, he's all jittery and hyper. You actually squeeze him and he just does a speed dash, just shoots right across. I mean, dying is, is very much a part of this game. Their death toll is on their body. They wear it proudly. Easily seen it go into the double digits, and right now at, at work I'm trying to make it go into triple digits. I don't know if it can do that yet, but I'm determined to find out. Well, what we don't want to do is, um, like, hold the player's hand completely through each level and, and you know kind of be over and saying here's what you got to do to solve a puzzle but on the same thing we don't want to completely leave them without any clues or hints so the team's done a really good job of if you're taking too long around a particular device it'll show you like a ghost swipe to kind of show you this is how you interact with it so it's not going to be a repetition of the same thing with all the combination of the different mechanics that are available it's going to be gentle it's going to be harsh and it's going to be fun.